let's get started with a clean workbook. So I have my data in this place called, in a sheet called data. I'll be putting my filter data in this report. So what the first thing we're gonna do is to insert the checkboxes. So I have four continents for which I'm going to filter the data. Africa, then America, then Asia, and lastly, uh, Europe. So having done that, I'm going to put checkboxes, highlight the cells where you're going to put your checkboxes, go under insert, move, and click on checkbox. When I do that, the checkboxes are inserted. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. When you click on the checkbox, you see the value here is true. This is very important. We shall be using it in our query function later on. So the first thing we're gonna do is to use the filter function so that the query function knows what has been selected. I'll use the filter function to filter out which of these regions has been selected. Having done that, our query function is going to depend on those filtered values to run the query. So let's see how we filter those values. We are going to use the filter function and I'm going to tell it to filter out of these regions based on what is selected in here. Of course, I can say this is equal to true or if I leave it out, still it will be true. So when I do that, I return NA. And the reason it returns NA is because nothing is selected here. If I select one of these values, you can see whatever I select is filtered out and placed in here. The next thing is to ensure that my query function de follows or depends on what is filtered here. Before I do that, I need to eliminate this NA error. To eliminate that NA error, I'm going to use another Google Sheet function called if error and I enclose my filter function in there and you can see now the error is gone. So let's build our query function. And right now we are saying query data and I'm going to reference F4. This is where I'm going to build my query function and my query function should be in position to know that if Africa is only selected, I run Africa only, a query for Africa. If there are two, I run for two. And if there are three, I run for three. So I'm going to use another function called count to achieve that. The count is one. I'm going to use count A. It is actually count A because if I select Africa and I count here, it will be showing only one. The count will be one. If there are two, it will be showing two. And then I'm going to base on the count to determine, uh, to, to come up with my query function. If you don't get me, just follow what I'm doing right here. Now, because there are a number of ifs, function, ifs that I'm going to run, because it will be if the count is one, if the count is two, three and four, I'm going to use a function which is called ifs function. Ifs, comma, if you look at the ifs function, it runs from left to right. It goes on condition, the first condition, if it is condition one is true, it returns value one. If it, it is false, it will move to the next condition. And if the second condition is true, then it return value two and so on. So I'm going to use the count. And what I'm counting is in these cells, uh, because this is test, text, 
count will not work. So I'll use count A. So I count what is in here. And I'm going to say, if my count equals one, okay? If the count is equal to one, that means, let me first uh, stop this by putting a quote there. Now, if my count is one, for example, if Africa is only selected here, how will my query function look like? Okay, let's come back. The query function is going to look like this. Select all. Then I'll be having my where clause. Actually, let me do it in cups. So select star which means all, where, uh -huh. if it's only one variable, so I have a, the value, whatever value selected will be in under cell F4. So I'll say where, uh, and remember my region is in column A. If I go back, this is column A. So I'm saying where, my column A value, my column A value will equal to, put those quotes, I'm going to put N percent, so it will be under A4, like so. You can see here, it has selected Africa, the query brings Africa alone. If I undo this, and I put Asia, you can see my query here is bringing Asia. Okay, it is seems to be working. Here it brings Europe and it ensures it puts it in this cell. So my first query is working when I select one item. So I want to see if I select two items, right now, if I select two, I get an A, but now I need this is what I need to work on. So I'll go back. Now I need to expand this. And then I'm going to go right there and say Alt Enter to give myself space. Here I'll need to put a comma, then press Alt Enter to go to the next line. Now I'm going to copy this again, copy, put it, paste it down here and change this to two. Now, if there are two, I'm going to use the where clause is going to have, A will be what is in cell A4, and there is all what is in cell B4. So it is A4 and B4 right here. So here we have Asia in A4, and B4 we have Europe. So, and if I close that and test whether it is working, you can see right here, my query function is okay. And because my query here is linked to cell F4, it is picking it up here. And when you see, it is now selecting only Asia and Europe right there. So I hope you get the idea. We need to move to the next put a comma, alt, enter to make it clean, then copy this formula again. But right now I'm going to build it and tell you if the count is three, I need to add another all clause right there. And now it will, my A will be under, this was B, this should be cell C to be C here, right there. Now, if I close, I'll check that now it, yeah, it, I need to select three of them in column A, B, and C. So you'll see right here, it has selected it okay. 
and it returns my result of America, Asia, and Europe, America, Asia, and Europe accordingly. Okay, that one is also working fine. Now I need to go back and do the last one for the four of them. I put a comma, Alt, Enter to go to the next line. Then I copy this again and paste it there. And I add the last all clause. So here I'm going to add another all, but now it is going to be D, D, four. So I need to select four of them. So when I do that, it gives me an A. Let's see where our problem is right now. I've, I found out my error. This one should be now four. Then I enter, then you'll see that it brings all the four of them and our data is filtered to the four regions that we have selected right there. Now, there is also a case where nothing is selected. So I need also to bring that into the picture. I put a comma, Alt, Enter to go to the next line. And then in this case, our count, if nothing is selected, our count is going to be zero. And if it is zero, we want to return nothing right there. If this count is zero, return a space. And when it is a space, it returns everything there. Right now, our query function is working fine. So let's test it. If Africa, you see Africa only is selected. If I say Asia, Asia only is selected. Europe, Europe only is selected. America, America only is selected. And then if I select two of them, the two regions will be selected. Here it selects the three and selects the four. So this is how you can make it very dynamic so that it can work for one region. I did an earlier vision video that shows you how to make it dynamic when it is only selecting one region. In this video, I've shown you how it can work when you are selecting two regions, three regions, or four regions, or even there is nothing selected where it returns everything in our data set. And lastly, if you don't want the, the query function to keep appearing here, we can put this formula directly into our query function. So what we have to do is to copy uh, what we have placed in this cell, control C, escape, come into our query function. You can see it is referring, referencing to F4, which is this one. So we can just paste everything there, then say enter. Now it does not depend on this. So I can delete everything I have in cell F4 and it will still be working fine. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please subscribe to encourage me to do more videos like this one. You can hit the notification button to get a notification when I produce more videos. Have a great day.